guys welcome back to another video so in this video I just want to update you guys on some things so in a previous video I talked about two people that were selling counterfeit Lululemon items and a couple of other brands as well I just wanted to give you guys an update on those two people the first person her name is Megan Honeybee Linen was her username. So since that video, Megan has actually reached out to me. We have been chatting through DMs. And honestly, like I'm going to be real honest, when she first reached out to me, I was like, mm, she's only reaching out to me because of the video because, you know, she got caught. She's not sorry. But the more I started talking to her, the more I realized that she genuinely is sorry. She is. I don't think that she was knowingly selling the fakes. Um, I mean, I get it. I get that you know, it's a, it's a shitty situation. It really is like all around. It's a shitty situation when you are told that you're selling fakes and some people might not react in the best way to that. And she admittedly said that she didn't react in the best way. So props to her for sure for coming to me. Um, and I'm not the only person that she has messaged and like apologized to. I told her, I was like, girl, you don't owe me an apology. You should apologize, you know, to the people that bought stuff from you. And she did that and she refunded people. So she's trying to make things right, which is like, have we ever had someone do that? All the people that I've talked about on this channel, have we ever had somebody take accountability and own up to their actions? No, we haven't. So thank you, Megan, for being uh, an adult and having a conscience and being the first person that I've talked about to do that. She even offered to send me her belt bags. She was like, I'll send you the belt bags to prove to you that I'm not going to sell them. I'm like, girl, you don't have to do that. But it just proves that like she's she's genuinely sorry. She really truly is. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys on her. Carly, on the other hand. <laughs> okay, so Carly, it's Carly's Closet with a K. It's I'll put it on the screen here so you guys can see. Will I show screenshots in this video? Sure. I will grab some screenshots from my other video. I'll also link that down below if you want to watch it. Uh, but I'll grab some screenshots from that video and show you guys the counterfeit items that she was selling. So basically somebody called her out in her show. It wasn't me. Her mom like messaged me and was like, was it you make fake accounts? Da, da, da. I'm like, lady, I don't make fake accounts. If I got to say something, I'll say it to you. I don't hide. So yeah, she was caught selling counterfeit items. Oh, by the way, Megan got banned. Carly did not. Carly is still selling, which is fucking crazy. So last night Carly went live and we're going to talk about it. You guys sent me screenshots. Somebody sent me a screen recording. I think we're going to play the screen recording so you guys can, you guys can, uh, hear. Not mine. So she just asked me to read it so she could distance herself and just get ready to have, you know, a show with no monkey business in it. So tonight we have an exciting monkey business. What monkey? <sighs> your away plan, but before we dive into that, I want to address some recent events. Emotionally, it's been tough for me to find the right words, so I've asked my mom to help deliver the statement. First and foremost, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for your unwavering support and understanding. That means more to me than words can express. In light of recent circumstances, I want to reaffirm my commitment to you all. I want to emphasize that I'll never claim to be perfect. Mistakes happen, but what I can promise is to always give you my absolute best in providing quality. Mistakes do happen, but it's how you react to those mistakes. It's how you react. Authentic merchandise and being open to your feedback. I may stumble along the way, but please know that my dedication to providing you the best quality merchandise and maintaining a positive professional environment will never waver. Regarding some specific items that have recently been discussed, they've been taken down and I'm actively communicating with Lululemon about them. Mistakes happen, but I want to assure you I'll never engage in fraud fraudulent activity intentionally. In fact, I'm actually taking proactive steps such as advocating for an authentic Lululemon video to help both resellers and customers. Carly, I got those on my channel. I gotcha. All you have to do is watch my videos, girl. It's not just about business. It's about contributing to a circular economy and reducing waste. I'm committed to continuing to contribute positively to this market and support my fellow resellers and their growth. Let's remember, we are all in this together. As the saying goes, it takes a strong woman to build another woman up. Only a weak woman would tear another woman down. So let's lift each other up and focus on positivity. I want to 
assure you that I'm taking every step possible to rectify any mistakes and ensure that we continue to foster a space of positivity and growth. Your trust and support mean everything to me, and I'm committed to earning it every single day. If anyone wishes to discuss this matter further or anything else, or seek clarification on anything, don't hesitate to reach out to me privately. Your voices matter, and I'm here to listen. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your unwavering support and understanding, Carly. I guess we'll start with the, the little quote she said. It takes a strong woman to build another woman up or a weak woman to, to tear them down. Who's the weak? You had your mommy read your uh, apology letter that didn't even include the words I'm sorry by the way I get that a lot though you should be empowering other women oh I will if you are worth empowering if you're doing bad things like why would I speak positively about somebody that's doing bad things somebody answered that question someone can somebody answer that question if you're a piece of shit and you're scamming people, and you're hurting people, and you're lying about it, then yeah, you deserve to be talked about in a not-so-nice way. Why would I say positive things about a bad person? Like, <laughs> it's not like I'm just tearing you down. It's not like I'm like, you're ugly. I don't like your outfit. That wouldn't be cool to do, but I'm not doing that. I'm literally talking about the actions, the choices that you made. So yeah, your little quote there doesn't doesn't apply in this situation. What's even more disgusting is the people in the chat, these comments are like, I'm so proud of you, you're so strong. Proud of her for what? For what? What did she do? Besides sell counterfeit things and then um, lie about it and then turn around and twist things and try to make me out to be the bad person. What, what did she do that you should be proud of? It's just crazy because some of those people in the chat I thought uh, knew better, but apparently not. Apparently they just, um, side with the scammer, <laughs> which is fucking, I can't even, I just, I, it doesn't make any sense. Um, but I guess those are the people with the mindset that I'm, I'm the bully. I'm the bully. So somebody does something bad, Vanessa talks about it. Uh, no, the person that actually committed the crime, they're not the bad person. Vanessa is. That is so fucked up. <laughs> also, another thing that I thought was hilarious was the messages from the little group chat. How they're like, oh, we're supposed to be empowering other women, but yet they're all talking shit about me. <laughs> okay, why don't you practice what you fucking preach? How about that? But wait, in their minds, I'm the bad person, so it's okay to talk shit about them. Isn't that exactly what I'm doing on this channel? Talking about bad people? Do you get it now? Again, I don't know if she actually refunded people, reached out to the people that bought fake things from her. I don't know. All I know is that she had her mommy read her uh, fake apology or taking accountability without taking accountability note. And she said that it's been, oh, so emotional for her. How do you think the ones that got scammed feel? You think that they're okay with being taken advantage of? Whether you knowingly did it or not, you were told what you did, yet you continued to sell fake things. That's the whole thing. That that's that's the kicker in all of this. Like if you were told that you were selling fakes and then you stopped immediately, that would have nothing that, that would have been fine. Like you might have done it unknowingly, like genuinely not knowing. But it's the fact that you continued after. That's what looks sketchy as fuck. All right guys, that's it for this video. Again, I just wanted to update you. Huge shout out to Megan for um doing the right thing, being an adult, taking accountability. Um, and Carly, do better. Really, do better. As always, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Check the description box because there is a link to a petition to get Jen Deals banned from whatnot. If you have no idea what that situation is, I will also have a playlist link down below where you can watch a bunch of videos showing proof. I'll also have Whatnot's email where you can email them yourself. You can tell them about an experience you've had with Jen Deals or if you just want to tell them your opinion about why you think she should be banned, you can do that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video.